Energy buff. Today, we will be killing this disgusting worm monster. Why is he a worm? Bomb monster. Everything's a... Everything's political. <laughs> uh, I don't like the way you call, refer to him. Is, did you call him a worm because he resembles the color of a black thing? And did you only use the color black to initialize conflict with the African-American race? You're so racist. Anyway. We here at GMO are racists. Put it up. I... Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Did that so quick. I was like, quick. dang, I did that so quick. <laughs> Even I have to recognize it. Uh... That's not a I boss bet key. it's like bombs or something. I bet it's a freaking key. No, I it's, bet bombs. it's bombs. bombs. Yep. They make you think that you need it, but it's not. He's like, we can do it again. Hey, there he is. Ugh, <laughs> oh, yes, we're almost done, dude. Don't even talk to him. Don't even I talk to. to him. Oh, you do. Actually, do? I don't know. I never know. I never know either. I don't think you actually have to set all the Gorons free. I just know that you do. That's what you do. Yep. Oh, he didn't have anything useful to say anyways. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to skip it. He was just like, thanks, man. Thanks, you know, man. Uh, thanks for my freedom. Thanks for freeing me. How about you go kill the Dodongo Dragon Forest too, mm -hmm. and I won't give you any advice. Try swinging at it with your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Try hitting it. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was just like, you, are you releasing me? <laughs> Thanks, bit. <laughs> and then he just leaves. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Oh man. It is oh man. Gizzy. It is. Gizzy. It is vibrating central up here. It is. Ladies, come all because it's vibrating up in here. Oh my goodness. And you get your vibrating action on. Whoa. No vibrators Sick needed. Sexual crap right there, man. Uh, I finished. Yes. Are you recording? I'm about yes. to destroy this mother effer. The What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? The it's fastest. me, David. The um, fastest. Um, um. <laughs> well, Please, we I did the fastest run through of this game on my 3D ass. Well, that's not this game. It's a different, it's a different version. It's but a what? different port of the same game. Well, well I really? guess it's only not. one hit? Are you kidding and, me? Yeah, you can only get one. Well, it's best to use your hammer. No, it's not. It's best to use the jump attack with the Gron Sword because it's the most powerful weapon in the game. Mm, yeah. You're right. I think it is. I guess best to use the hammer. Anyway, um, I finished Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Oh, yeah. And I watched somebody's... Ooh, what, what's this? Theory on it. Uh, it? LeBron James. Oh, which was it? Oh, yeah, yeah I know. Right. And, yeah, I watched someone's theory Is LeBron it. Yeah. James so, that colored fella? Yes. <laughs> Basically. And I liked his theory. This is what he had to say. Um, the first I don't can only hug get me, one I'm scared in. was the was self produced, and then two what is through hug me, six. I'm scared. It's the one with the puppet. You know, have you ever wondered why we've been da -da 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 -da, or whatever it is? I don't know what he even says. What's your favorite idea? idea. Yeah. Mine's being oh, creative. Yeah. How yeah. do you get that idea? Uh, that one. So anyway. So basically, the first one was self-produced by the creators of the show. And then yeah. two through six was created by Kickstarter. Dude, there's which, three more I don't know about? Yeah, and it's complete now. It's They've, like, they've completed the story by doing this. Yeah! Three! Three! So but anyway. Two through six were self... Uh, oh, were Kickstarter. produced by a Kickstarter. And... One was just its own little quirky thing, but then two through six had a backstory about what it's like to have your own property bought, or what's it called? Um, 
uh, intellectual property. Yes, it's about what happens when your own intellectual property is bought by another company to make more of that thing that you made. And so, oh, okay. and if you look at it, in the first one, Roy is not in it. Roy is the, yeah. yeah. In the first one, Roy's not in it. But then, starting with two, all the way through six, and with six, him becoming more of a yeah. prominent figure, Roy is actually credited at the end of every single episode. <laughs> He's like, holy sh- guys, what, the, what what do we do? Um... But Roy is credited as a producer or something at right. the end of every single one, and he's in every single episode, um, except for the first one. Yeah. And Roy represents like a big major company like Disney or whatever, um, buying the intellectual property. And then, m- m- for the most part, the biggest confirmation of all of this is number six, but it starts with number Two. Four, oh, four with Red Man popping and becoming an adult um number five with old man dying or yeah uh, uh duck ducky yeah dying and then with six he wakes up with his dream and he wants to be creative because everyone else is red also and he wants to be different and then roy is in the back of the cafe as everyone's booing his creative idea well you know his terrible song yeah um, Roy stretches out to him, and then he, even though it's never said, he kind of joins Roy's company because then the the microphone and the boombox come alive, and then he's able to see like the backstage of everything, and he gets to like control the computer that controls the little yep. boy, the yellow man, and the yellow man is still a child, so he's still influenced by. So you've already seen all this, haven't yes. you? Yes. Wow. So did you watch CP? Gamer, I think, is the name of the channel. You PC, bro? But um, <laughs> now he's also controlling what children are seeing because he is an intellectual property with subliminal messages of higher up corporates. And then the show ends with him pulling the plug because he doesn't want to work that way. And then the last scene that you see is everyone's their own favorite color, which yep. means. It's just what, well, that's that's the one thing he kind of opened up for interpretation. But, like, uh, yeah, I thought it was, like, really cool. Sounds cool. Um, I thought it was interesting. And then, like, I did hear about, like, everyone is a teacher. Like, every episode you get a different teacher. And the only one that was, the uh, only you one know that what? was, this dip, might was be a, a different found. teacher was the creative teacher because the creative teacher doesn't show up when red man is messing with the computer but it shows up at the very very end yeah of the when Joel, i think this blood. is a fairy fountain nice yeah it's all very interesting so David. everybody watch uh don't hug me i'm scared watch me though Game <laughs> more of me though <laughs> subscribe to other channels <laughs> don't. thanks don't. thanks david <laughs> michael, michael. Ugh. Dang the booty, the polygon be be not polygon. Be oh yeah, maybe it is polygon. Yeah, yeah, man. Welcome Jaeger to the great fairy fountain of wisdom. I'm going to enhance your big magic power. <laughs> Receive it now. Receive me. Some sicko Japanese. Oh my gosh, receive me. Creeps fantasy. Dude, what if like Link just like. Dude, we have 10 hearts? Yeah, man. No, we have 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 hearts. We get one more. Your magic power has been enhanced. Now you you have have twice twice as as much much magic. magic pleasure. I mean, power. When battle has made you weary and horrible. Horny. <laughs> Please come back to me <laughs> to relieve your stress. Oh my gosh. Yep. Sounds good. What a freak, right? Yeah, man. Please control totally her to- boo. Totally a freak. Let's see. Where am I going now? Well, there's the water temple, but yeah, that's I mean, or that's much it. I have a better idea. What? We can do things crazily out of order. Like what? Oh, Shadow Temple? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. 
Ner learn, ner learn the Nocturne of Shadow. What's down here? Let's see. I mean, you're already on there anyway, so, you know. Money. What? M -m -m Money. So, yeah, warp to... Well, I guess you can get Gabor to, Gabor to take you down. Can't right? do that. What? Only when you small. What? Only when you a pip squeak. Wait, are you sure? Yeah. Because he's on this sign right here. Where is he? What a punk. Just warp to... Okay. <laughs> Tim, destroy that rock. Oh, wait. Never mind. There's what? a ton of them. I thought there was something special about that rock, but... No. Nope. Just normal I don't even think rock. you can destroy a red rock. You can lift them, maybe. Maybe. But not destroy them. Are you going to tell me something totally useless and interesting? I mean, useless? But... Did... Not interesting. Are you talking to me? <laughs> no. Navi. Oh. Are you kidding? Well, that was... Those hitboxes are so wide, man. Just like Marth. Am I right? Ugh. I don't want you to talk for the rest. See, I told you. For the rest. <laughs> Die! Uh... Die, motherfucker. You motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, I get. Oh, you graveyard, know what? graveyard, graveyard, graveyard. I think you graveyard. have to. Graveyard. Where are you going? What's in the graveyard, man? The Nocturnal Shadow. No, it's not. Because you have to come into Kakariko Village when it's all like burning and on fire and crap. And how does. Oh, that happens after you beat the Water Temple? It might. Ah, dang it. Okay. I've upgraded it to. Yeah, definitely. So, what do you want to do? We've got like four minutes. Two, two minutes. Next time on GMO. Yeah, yeah, next time. We can... We're our own bosses. Yeah, man.